Hi there, my name is Cronenberg and welcome to my channel. This is a game review of Seen, S-E-E-N. It's a um, indie adventure game. Uh, the developer and publisher is Seen Games. Came out in 2019. It's got most oh, very positive reviews and it's currently for... Um, well, it's normally £2.59 on Steam, but if there's a sale, which there is at the moment, it's 44 pence. Um, it's got single player achievements and trading cards and partial controller support. Um, and basically it just says a lonely kid desperately tries to escape his dark world. Now I've played the full game. It is short. Um, I think mine was about two and a half hours. Um, but this is literally the first part of I've, when you complete the whole game it says click here to wishlist part two which has obviously hasn't come out yet. Um, so I have obviously because I, I like this game. Um, so the the whole thing is is if you kind of if you used to Limbo or Insides because Insides is like a sequel to Limbo, then you'll like this game. If you haven't, then you'll still probably like this game anyway. Um, so the, the kid is always looks like he's really sad. He's he's got tears in his eyes and stuff like that. You know he is a poor little lad, a uh, poor kid or whatever, having a bit of a downtrodden life. Um, I can't really go too much into it because it'll spoil the the game as it were but he's basically not having a good time trying to move around and the little um, blue balls on the ground that he's going, going for is hope the more hope you get I'm assuming the better you are um, so there are also red balls which obviously you don't want which is not good and there are times where you'll come across things where there's um, people shouting at you or whatever and the images sort of propel this red colour like red balls or red like speech wave things so you cover your ears um, and then that for the, like hides it all and you can just carry on um, it's it's quite interesting the way that you can move so you, there's like three or four different ways you can set your way up of how you like to play so I like playing WSA and D and spacebar um, which I could and then shift was my cover my ears and E was interact or you could use the arrow keys I think it was at one point or you could do a different way or a diff and it's like if, if you're only used to a certain specific way of playing I think that was pretty good because that gives most people the opportunity to play the way that they're used to on their keyboard you know not everybody likes the WSA and D with the left hand keys maybe they prefer using the arrow keys the right hand you know everybody is different for different ways um, the movement when you go along is kind of linear you're going f sideways but you can go and kind of go back and forth but only on the same sort of track as it were there's like three or four lanes you can go on you can't sort of slide along it's just you move along going, going back back and then forwards um, I've only fell off a couple of times uh, off the edge but most of the time you can't because there is no chance you can fall off the most infuriating one for me was these stupid plinth things like a little like um, you know plinths where you, you put something on like a little statue or something like that those things I first thought oh what's this fun little thing um, but you actually have to go through it in order to open the door you have to jump on and jump onto the next light jump onto the next light jump on the next light and there were points where I just fell off and I just I was just kicking off because you spend like the entire game it's just so relaxing in a way you know um, quite nice visuals you're really enjoying it and then you get to that bit and then you just lose the will uh, you get through it and it's like great and you're back to exactly where you were before but that bit just drove me mental um, it states it's early access it's still good I mean even though it's 2019 I'll still say it's, it's pretty good for early access it works just as well as, as a fame the same game uh, I can't see them really wanting to change anything on it because it looks perfectly fine to me um, do I suggest this game hell yes uh, like I say if you've played Limbo you've played Inside you'll love this if you haven't you'll still love this if you like the kind of adventure kind of games um, but yeah, I do recommend this highly, highly much so. Uh, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed watching this game review of Scene. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I've got plenty of the 
game reviews. Like I say, I also have the full Let's Plays of Inside and Limbo if you want to watch those. And Scene. So you can watch Scene and the other two as well if you're kind of curious what I mean by they're similar too. They're not perf they're not the same, but it's, it's the similar kind of um, setup. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Leave a comment in the comment box below. Have you played this game before? Did you enjoy it? Are you looking forward to part two? Because I am. Okay, well, thank you and goodbye.